Hi everyone and welcome to this week's ICRT vlog. We are back for the new year and this week we have a lot of really exciting news happening. So if you have been living under a rock, you may not know who Zhou Ziyu is. But for the rest of us common human beings, uh, we know that she is a Taiwan singer and model slash actress sometimes, I suppose. And she is part of a South Korean girl band called Twice. And they're probably one of the hottest girl bands in South Korea right now. They're always topping the charts. Anyway, the point is, Zhou Ziyu is actually back in Taiwan. This was kind of a surprise visit. Um, apparently, it was kept very, very hush-hush. The Taiwanese media only found out about it because South Korean media was at the airport, you know, trying to snap a photo of her in South Korea as she was leaving. And then, so, when she got to the airport, nobody knew about it, so only people who happened to be there noticed, and it still caused a ruckus. But basically, she's back in Taiwan. So she is going to be here for a short while. The media did ask her, you know, are you going to stay for Chinese New Year? And she said it probably won't be that long. And that's all she would say. But basically she arrived on Tuesday morning and then her mom picked her up at the airport. Her family lives in Tainan, so they picked her up from Kaohsiung and then they drove back to Tainan. She spent the Tuesday afternoon that she was back, she spent it at her mom's coffee shop in Dongshi district. And apparently it was also so, you know, not scheduled and it was a complete surprise. So people who were in the coffee shop had a, had a moment and uh, they took photos and autographs and she was very, very nice and very approachable. And a lot of people said afterwards on social media that they can die without any regrets now. It was that big of an event. And incidentally, earlier this week, we also got the news that Zhou Ziyu has been named the second most beautiful face of 2019 in the world. It's uh, a ranking compiled by T.C. Candler, and it was done by uh, like popular voting, like voting from all netizens around the world. And basically, uh, she has been on the list. This is a third year now. First year was 2016. She was number eight. And then last year, she was number three. And so this year is her highest ranking ever at second. She was beaten by a French actress slash model, uh, Tylene Blondeau, uh, but she is second, second most beautiful face in the world. It's very exciting. So hopefully in the next few days, we can hear a little bit more about what she's doing in Taiwan. Okay, and in other international slash Taiwan news, uh, Taiwan's first expedition to the South Pole has successfully and safely, thank goodness, returned to Taiwan. This is a major event because it's the first time uh, Taiwan citizens have ever been in a complete team and made it to the South Pole, to the Antarctic. So this team has five members. One of them is the founder of the gaming company Game Mania, Albert Liu. Another one is an ultra marathon runner, Tommy Chen. Another member is celebrity actor slash model, uh, Yo Shen, Chris Wong. And so these three people, along with two other people, they successfully made it to the South Pole. And it was an incredibly difficult journey. They originally were going to trek 660 kilometers in those conditions. And then because there were multiple blizzards and severe storms, they had to change their, their route. And instead they traveled 350 kilometers, 350 kilometers in minus 50 degrees Celsius temperature. And they started from an elevation of 2,545 meters high. So that's how difficult it was. Um, they said conditions were extremely harsh. It was so cold and the wind was so strong that some of the camera equipment was damaged. That's how difficult and uncomfortable it must have been. They all had like bits of frostbite. Like during the press conference you could see their faces like they were there were like dark spots from damage from the cold exposure. So it was an incredibly arduous journey. But they uh, they did this and they made this incredible trek on behalf of a foundation, Game Mania Cheer Up Foundation. And this foundation is acting to support young people who are struggling with depression. So they said they really wanted to complete this journey to show young people that it is 
right and good to have big dreams. And staying with Taiwan on the international stage, for our third story today, we are talking about the ROC passport. So um, I think a while ago we also talked about this ranking. It's called the Henley Passport Index, and it's updated every quarter. And so the new one, the latest one for the year 2019, has just been released, and Taiwan has maintained its ranking on the index. Taiwan, this time around, is also also ranked 29th in the world. So it's the the ROC passport is the 29th most powerful passport in the world out of 190 passports from different countries. This is a ranking that's compiled based on uh, very specific data compiled from multiple different companies and they look at how many countries these you can use these passports to get into without having to apply for a visa ahead of time. So visa-free country entry. Um, so Japan is the top of the index for the second year in a row. It is the most powerful passport in the world. Out of interest, the second on the list tied for a second is Singapore. Singapore and South Korea. So the top three countries in ranking number one and two are all Asian. Um, ranked tie for number three is France and Germany. And then if you're also interested, the U.S. is number six and Canada is number seven. Um, not biased at all. And then out of interest as well, China is number 69th. Okay, and that will do it for this week's episode of the vlog. Remember, if you enjoy what we do, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's ICRTFM100. Um, you can also like us and follow us on Facebook. Otherwise, we will see you next week. Bye.